Right now, the European Union is planning a review of Palestinian school textbooks. The EU's foreign affairs chief, Federica Mogherini, confirming the goal is identifying possible incitement to hatred and violence and any possible lack of compliance with UNESCO standards of peace and tolerance in education. The group behind the push is Impact SE. That's the Institute for Monitoring Peace and Cultural Tolerance in School Education. Their CEO, Marcus Sheff, joins us now from San Francisco. Marcus, great to have you with us. Hello, Norit. Hi, Caleb. How are you guys doing? So tell us a little bit about what actually prompted you guys at Impact SE to push the EU to do this in the first place. Well, Impact SE did a report on the Palestinian curriculum, a new curriculum which was uh, devised in 2014 and rolled out in three tranches, 2016, 17 and 18. And our results were that this was by far the most radical curriculum that the Palestinians had created. It is full of jihad, martyrdom, sacrifice. There is no idea of peace there. So 1.3 million Palestinian children have absolutely no idea what peace with Israel will look like. And we felt that we needed to take our policy recommendations to the people who are essentially financing the education of Palestinian children. And that is, to a greater extent than anybody, the European Union. They have a 360 million euro fund, the majority of which goes to education. And they have a duty of care to make sure that these children are educated within UNESCO-derived standards of peace and tolerance. So we went to the parliament, we spoke to members of parliament, and of course to the commission. Um, there was legislation passed through the parliament in April of 2018, which said very specifically that European money has to be used to teach Palestinian children with these standards of peace and tolerance and that the hate must be, review, must be removed. Unfortunately, a new curriculum in September of that year did exactly the opposite. It continued to teach hate, to incite, and so a report is necessary in order that the European Union can see exactly where that hate is, what that hate is, where the incitement is, where the lack of peace is, and how this must be changed. Marcus, for years, I'd even say decades, the Israeli government and groups such as yours have been uh, advocating or even lobbying the EU to deal with this issue of incitement uh, in various forms in Palestinian society, which European money is in part funding. Why do you think at this stage the EU at least is showing more awareness of the issue? Well, I, I think there was a uh, campaign which made it very clear what is inside that curriculum. And I'm not sure, you know, that that was done before to the extent it has been done now. You know, we have dozens of examples of incitement of martyrdom of jihad. We show very clearly that they are not teaching peace. Um, we show that there were examples of teaching of peace which was in this curriculum before, as it happens, which had been removed. And not just in the European Union, but this campaign was extended to the UK, to Germany, to other influential countries within the Union. And I think it was this critical mass of educating politicians, both in government and in parliament, together with the media campaign, which left the European Union no choice but to finally grasp this nettle and have a look at this curriculum properly in the way that we have done. Marcus, just briefly, out of all of those places, those countries that you sort of uh, pitched this and took, took your case to, is there one uh, that was most willing to actually hear and take action? Well, I think um, the German government um, in particular is, um, is in that category. You know, the Germans pay every single which way. They are the biggest payers of the European Union. Um, they have uh, bilateral relations with the Palestinian Authority and its Ministry of Education. They are uh, big payers to UNRWA, which teach the Palestinian curriculum. And of course, um, big payers to the European Union, who is also um, transferring money to UNRWA as well as the PA. So, you know, European um, taxpayers in general um, are contributing to the radicalization of young Palestinians, Germans in particular. And I think, you know, Germans realize that they have a duty of care to make sure that this stops.